What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are back in Destiny 2, and in this video I wanted to do a complete guide of the Pit of Heresy dungeon. In this video I will go over the mechanics and boss fights found in this dungeon, and I will also show you where to find the two secret chests. I plan on making a video just like this one for every dungeon and raid in Destiny 2. So if this video helps you, please consider subscribing to this channel as I'm sure my future videos will help you as well. Now I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible, so let's hop right into it. First off, the Pit of Heresy dungeon can be found on the Moon Destination, but you will only be able to access this dungeon if you own the Shadow Keep DLC. The first part of the Pit of Heresy dungeon is the Necropolis. For this section of the dungeon, you will first need to look down and go to the nearest tower that will have a large green glowing symbol above it. In this tower you will find a knight. Kill this knight and grab the relic sword that he will be holding, and then look up and look for these three runes hanging from chains. These runes will tell you which of the three towers you will need to go to, so make sure you memorize them as best as you can. Then run out of this tower and look for those symbols and go to the tower underneath it. In that tower you will find one of three enemies, which will be either a knight, a witch, or a shrieker. To take out these enemies you will need to use that relic sword. If the enemy is a knight, you will need to kill it with the sword's normal attack, If the enemy is a witch, you will need to use the sword's ranged attack, and if the enemy is a shrieker, you will need to use the sword's block attack. Once you have killed the enemies inside of each of the three towers that will be under the symbols from the very first room, this green light will appear which will lead you to the exit of this arena. Two more things you should know about this encounter is that if you need more relic swords, you will need to look for these knights and kill them to get another sword. And if you go too far down and need to go up to another level, you can stand on these elevator platforms to get a boost up. Next up in this dungeon will be the Tunnels of Despair. To get to this encounter, you will need to jump into this crack in the wall when you come to this wall of doors. This encounter is actually pretty simple. You will just need to go into these rooms and kill the knights in them and get an orb, then use that orb to unlock one of the three doors. Once you have put one orb in, you will need to go find another knight and grab his orb and put it in another door until all three of the doors are unlocked. At first, getting through this area might be a little tricky, but I do have this map which should help you navigate through this area. Once you have unlocked all three of the doors, you can go to the hallway in the middle of the encounter room and use this tunnel to get to the first secret chest.
For the next encounter, you will need to divide your team into two groups. These groups will be runners and defenders. The defenders will need to stand on the plate at the back of the room and defend it, while the runners will need to run around the room looking for knights and killing them, to get the orbs that they are carrying, then bring those orbs back to the totem near the plate and deposit them. To complete this encounter, you will need to deposit 6 orbs into this totem. If you are on the defending team, you should try to clear out as many adds as you can, and call out the locations of the knights that you see to your runners. If someone isn't standing on the plate, your entire team will die, so make sure you always have someone on this plate. The next section of this dungeon is the Harrow. For this encounter, you will need to look at these runes at the start of the encounter, then navigate through the maze to find the towers that will have these runes on them. This will be very similar to the first encounter in this dungeon, but at these towers you will find a witch and some other enemies. To complete this encounter, you will need to kill the witch that you find at the three towers that will have the symbols on them from the start of this encounter. Again, to make this easier, you can use this map to navigate through this maze. But before you do this, you can run behind the building you started at to get to the second secret chest. The final boss of this dungeon will be Zolmak Instrument of Torment. This boss will use all of the mechanics from previous encounters in this dungeon, so by now you should know exactly what to do. When you start the boss fight, knights will spawn at the center of the room that you will need to kill to get relic swords. Then you can take those swords to kill the witch, knight, and shrieker enemies found in the red towers around this arena. Once those enemies die, they will drop purple orbs that you will need to deposit into the totems at the center of the arena. And once an orb has been put into all three of the totems, the damage phase of this boss fight will start. To do damage to this boss, you will need to enter the center of the arena. It's important to remember that you will only be able to do damage to this boss if you are standing in the center of the arena, so try not to leave if you don't need to. But when you see the boss start to kneel down, you will want to run out of the center as fast as you can, as the boss is about to do a special attack that will kill anyone standing in the center. Now if you do not kill this boss in one damage phase, you will just need to go and grab more relic swords and orbs, and deposit them to get to another damage phase. And then repeat this process until the boss is dead. And that's going to be pretty much it. But before this video ends, I just wanted to let you know that I plan on creating a ton of videos for Destiny 2 on this channel. So if this video has helped you, please consider subscribing to this channel, as I'm sure my future videos will help you as well. And if you are also looking for a new clan in Destiny 2, you can check out the link in the pinned comment below to join the Destiny 2 clan that I have created. You can also find me streaming Destiny 2 over on Twitch. You can find my Twitch link in the pinned comment as well. But anyways, I hope this video has helped you and thank you for watching.